Thank you, Ryan. Next up, we have number 49 from Singapore, Kuzafe Mustafa. Thank you, Huzaifa. Next on stage, number 50, Joshua Teo from Singapore. Thank you, Joshua. Next up, we have number 51 from Singapore, Derek Chu. Thank you, Derek. Also from Singapore, number 53, Roy Chua. Thank you, Roy. Next up, we have someone from Malaysia, 54, I mean Syafik. Thank you, I mean. And now for our final athlete for this category, from Thailand, Nopon Chananan. Thank you, Nopon. I would like to have the athletes all come up to the line, please. Athletes, please spread out. You have plenty of space on the stage. Can I get a quarter turn to your right, please? Can I get a quarter turn facing the back, please? Another quarter turn to your right, please. And a quarter turn facing the front, please. Here are your first call outs. Number 49, number 50, number 51, Number 54, and number 83. Can you get a quarter turn to your right, please? Another quarter turn facing the back, please. And a quarter turn facing the right again. Another quarter turn facing the front, please.
Thank you, gentlemen. It, it, posing is just so key to competition. You know, one of the things that athletes need to be mindful of when they are on stage and they're trying to hold that beautiful muscle tone and that strength and showcase that. Absolutely. So when athletes get up on stage, they want to showcase their best muscle parts, right, the body parts. So every single routine that they have and showing for you are showcasing the best uh, parts of the physique. And it's not easy to hold a pose when they all dried up and really hungry on stage, right? So you got to make sure you keep your smile on, have eye contact with everybody, hit your best poses, and every muscle part has to be flexed. And to hold that pose for seconds may seem like an eternity for these athletes, you know? How much prep goes into, obviously you're doing your training every day and all that, but when it comes to posing and practicing, you know, how much time do athletes dedicate to making sure that they can do these awesome, awesome positions? That's a good question. I think uh, posing is definitely one of the uh, critical parts of uh, a bodybuilding or men's physique. When you get up on stage, that's what you want to showcase all your strengths and your muscles. So I think a lot of bodybuilders do that uh, mostly up on stage, uh, sorry, and after they you know, finish their workouts, just head to the mirror, they pose and for hours and hours to make sure to get it perfect and get, it, get the transition really smooth. At this point, do friends and family help in that? Or is it a private affair? Absolutely, so I think you, well, most of them probably get their partners to you know, critique them, to get the coaches, uh, and maybe even take some videos and show uh, the coaches, and then the coaches from there would tell them what they should work on, how they should pose, how they should uh, transition, so on and so forth. Coming in at sixth place from Singapore, number 53, Roy Chua. Coming in in fifth place from Thailand, number 83, Nopon Chananan. And in fourth place from Singapore, number 51, Derek Chu. Coming in in third place from Singapore, number 50, Joshua Tio. And here we have our top two, ladies and gentlemen. Who do you think is going to take number one? Uh, Sounds like a tough fight. It is, it is indeed. All right, without further ado, in second place, from Malaysia, number 54, I'm in Shafiq. Which means, ladies and gentlemen, your winner for this category is number 49, Huzaifa Mustafa from Singapore. Hold hands, hands together, hold hands, and up in victory. Congratulations, gentlemen, round of applause.